What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Be The Fish and on today's episode, we're going on an adventure. So as you can see, we got some exciting things in store. We got the truck here, we got the kayak in the garage, getting all loaded up. We're about to pack stuff up and head up to the Adirondacks. Go have some fun, explore, adventure, and uh, go catch some fish. So come along, we're gonna get things packed up and we'll talk to you guys when we're on the way up to the Adirondacks. minutes left here until we're gonna get to meet up with Brandon we're gonna go run into a thing at the tops or a Walmart or something like that stock up on some food fill up the cooler uh, all that jazz the necessities that get us through the next few days load up the truck and we'll be sleeping in the truck tonight uh, we're starting at a we have an idea where we're gonna start tomorrow lake wise I think my plan is just to bring out a few rods. Uh, I'll probably bring out well, my Helix 9 and put my auto chart chip in it from Humminbird to basically give me a custom map. But don't bring any forward facing sonar, things of that nature. We might bring it out later this weekend, pending where we fish. We might even try going up towards St. Lawrence River, pending how some of the, these lakes are fishing and how the weather shapes out. But I'm thinking like a frog, a chatterbait, uh, maybe a swim jig, something to flip. Um, you know, top water like a like a chopo or something like that. Basically, going all power fishing. We might bring like a Ned rig or something like that, just because these lakes up here have a, a good amount of smallmouth in them, as well as a lot of largemouth, a lot of pike, a lot of perch. They're all very diverse for the most part, from my understanding, anyway. So we're gonna go jump around. We might try to hit like two a day. So it's two tomorrow uh, and two on Saturday. We might even try to get some casts in tonight, depending on what time we can get there and how light it still is. And might even cast even if it's light or not. But either way, I'm excited. We're gonna go load up, um, walk you guys through what we're stocking up on, things and all that nature, and show you guys the uh, the old bed for tonight, which is currently loaded down with gear. So we'll kind of make shift, put things, you know, put our stuff in, in places so we can actually lay down in the back of the truck and, uh, and sleep, which I enjoy it. You know, it's not as good as a bed, of course. I can sleep just fine. I can sleep like a baby back there. So that's the plan, and uh, we're gonna meet up Brandon here in about like 15 minutes or so. So we'll talk to you when we see Brandon in three, two. Hi. Up, mister? Howdy. How are ya? You ready to go fishing? Yeah. Our main course for night one is eight gas station salad. Uh, Say hello to the folks, Brandon, everyone Brandon, subscribe, no, subscribe to the channel. The uh, essentials include a gas station salad and a Mountain Dew. What'd you get? Gas station pizza. So we're, we're really starting off the trip health and wellness. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta stay healthy. We got a bunch of groceries we're gonna eat. We're not gonna get there until probably like 9 15 at this point. Yeah. Hopefully make some casts in the dark. Hopefully the place we're going to, we can actually stay in our trucks. Uh, it's kind of a crapshoot, but we're gonna figure it out. So I'm gonna chomp on this salad and we're gonna get back on the road. Oh, we pull up to uh, first place we're staying tonight and uh, we have bear tracks. It's a good start. Any comments? <laughs> uh, I don't know. A little unnerving. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't bring tents. Yeah. Oh. 
freaking cool is that? I think it might have rained a little bit last night. That was a uh, pretty good sleep in the truck last night. Pretty simple, just laying down in the back seat, comforter and a pillow. Had to keep the windows cracked a little bit, obviously, because they're sleeping in there, but had some mosquitoes, unfortunately, come to snuggle last night. Got a little bit of backwater right here, too. I'm intrigued to see if there's any fish in here. We're gonna get situated here. We're gonna get changed into some clothes for today. Have some, uh, some breakfast. There's actually some water that's pushing through here. I don't know if you guys can see this. A little bit of current moving through here. And there's a loon. It is so quiet. It's incredible. This is uh, this is amazing. I've needed this really bad. So quiet. In a world so crazy, it's nice to get lost a little bit. You guys know what I mean by get lost. I mean, get up here in this. This is awesome. We're gonna go uh, pop an energy drink, have a little bit of breakfast, get changed. We're gonna end up getting the kayak ready, get the cameras going, and get our lunch made for today. Get out on the water, hopefully get in some fish. Go explore a place we've never explored before. I don't know if you guys saw last night at the little clip. I hope you guys can see in the clip. We walked to, so literally, we're staying here. Brandon's still asleep. We walked across here where it's technically a launch. Right over there was bear tracks. Like, fresh bear tracks. And, like, two miles down the road, going across, I had to slow down because I almost hit a decent-sized black bear. Brandon and I were a little bit sketched last night. Nonetheless, it's okay. So we're going to get situated. We'll uh, talk to you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Brandon, how are you feeling this morning? Good. Ready to go fishing? What are the goals for today? Catch a fish on top water, don't get eaten by a bear or the mosquitoes. Deal. <laughs> All right, so goals for me. Have fun, explore, catch fish. Don't catch any pike. <laughs> don't get killed by a bear, because we saw a bunch of bears. Well, I shouldn't say that. We saw we saw one bear last night, and it's the biggest bear I've seen in person in the time I've ever lived in New York. I'm sure it's normal for people that live here, but it's kind of nutty. So we're going to keep filming this trap along the bank, wait for Brandon to get launched. See what we can figure out with this place. Got some boulders out deep. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Mark that just in case. Got some boulders out here. A lot of fun stuff out here. I don't see any fish on them. Got a six pounder already. No, you didn't. Nah, I didn't. Did I haven't caught crap. Anything? Nothing. No. Not even a blow up yet. Yeah. I, I mean, I didn't even look to see what's in this lake. So. Oh. Throw the chop a little bit more. That was a nice little two pound largey. But the way that thing ate it, maybe I need to be throwing a popper instead. We got our first fish out of the way. Ooh, this one blows blood off right there. Yeah, I might need to throw a popper. I'm totally gonna keep throwing it for a little bit long, a little bit longer. It's got blown up on. Those bites quick. This is a steep break here. This little uh, path that cuts across the lake. Oh, that was a pretty healthy largemouth. That's a good sign. Let's give ourselves two more casts, and then we're gonna put the popper on. Unfortunately, this is looks like a nice place to Ned rig. I'm actually, looking at side imaging, there's a lot of laydowns. Probably not a great place to throw the Ned. Let's put a popper on instead. I had one already rigged up. I changed it this morning to the Chapo. You know your guys' favorite top water. Do you like a walking bait? Do you like a popper? Do you like a buzz bait? Prop bait? I am curious. I'm all over the place. I throw so many different ones. 
think my favorite might have to be a a big spook bite or a uh, like a Florida style prop bait because that is freaking fun when you just and you let it pause and they go that's yes y'all know what I mean so like it's interesting the bank here is like seven eight foot you know we're in 11 but right out here like 10 feet is like 25 which we haven't seen anywhere else we wouldn't know if we didn't have a graph on so there is an advantage to having electronics for sure just understanding where you are not even talking four facing sonar i'm talking just simple mapping and side imaging because the map there is no mapping for this place you know basic simple you know aerial but i have my hummingbird auto chart going which you guys can see here it's making me a custom map so you guys can see it was 26 feet right now it's going down the break for us see there's a fish right there that was on the break so there is some cool things we can do with technology just to understand the bodies of water that we're fishing oh there we go <laughs> little guy <laughs> oh man First one, so we're small of the trip. All right, easy, bud. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you for the first trip, or the first fish I landed this trip. Every fish this week, this weekend is a fun fish. Obviously, we want to catch big ones, but any action is good action here. I love how freaking quiet it is. I'll let that popper sit for a little bit because I was putting my motor away. <laughs> that popper was sitting there for like 10 seconds. Decent large now. You barely got it and you had two hooks originally. That's cool. On the popper. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have fun. Thank you. That popper was just sitting there like that. I wonder if any of the hairs on the, the, the feathers and the trouble have anything to do with it. I will not argue that bite for, at all. I was trying to get my motor and my all that stuff put away so that I could stand up like I'm doing right now. I just all I heard was Doosh. maybe we'll just uh, experiment with some longer pauses then. It's good to know that we got both species in here, though. I'm going to guess that, that largemouth came off of that stick right there. There's a couple logs coming out here. A couple laydowns. Oh, got one on the hover rig. A little small mouth. Oh, gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm trying to get you back. I'm trying to get you back. Thank you, sir switched over to the hover rig instead which we need to retie just let it fall on this break <laughs> we got a tiny one ah, maybe not oh gosh no I thought that thing was tiny we got a good one a good smallie a little smelly. <laughs> Heck yeah. Sweet. Thank you. That's super cool. See you later, sir. Sir, man, whoever the hell you are. The old hover rig. I'm sure they'd eat a jig too. But I can pretty much almost I guarantee these fish have never ever seen a hover rig. <laughs> That's awesome. Well folks, what I will do is uh leave all the description or the links to all the baits that I'm using. 
and I'm catching fish on in the description below. I usually always do that for these videos. If you guys have questions on setup or something specific like that, put a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer it. I thought that smallmouth was, I mean, it was, it was small, you know, obviously to what we're used to catching in the Finger Lakes and the Great Lakes, but for up here, I mean, if today was chock full of those, sign me up. That's like catching fish. We're kind of just going along this break here because it's shallow up there and we're eight foot right here. And like I was telling you guys earlier, right to the right is about 20. So we're just letting this hover rig just literally hover down this break here. I really should throw braid to flow on this because I'm not feeling any of these bites. I'm just lifting up and my line is running off. Hard to feel it on the fluorocarbon, especially because it's so light. The, the bait is such a light presentation that it's hard to keep any sort of line taut. So there's a lot of slack line. So it's, oop, I felt that, I felt the tick though. You that a ticker hit bottom. All right, I think we're gonna make our way back and go the other direction towards that other lake that this connects to. Go try that lake out, explore there. Not running into many fish here. So they're definitely in like one area at least that we found so far. Otherwise it's pretty all over the place. You know, a lot of cool stuff offshore, but I don't really feel like going or grabbing forward facing sonar. I don't think you guys want to watch that. So we're gonna go explore this new lake. This place is wild looking. Like look at all of this rock. Yeah, there might be some bass mixed into it, but Brandon and I just tried fishing some of it and we didn't catch anything. I caught a rock bass and then he had his camera down there, wasn't seeing anything. So we're gonna stick with the game plan. Keep fishing shallow, having some fun, see what we can run into. We're gonna go under this bridge here and go back into one of these other lakes. That's a giant large mouth. That is a giant large mouth. Dude. <laughs> Guys. That's a freaking giant. <laughs> oh my god. The hover rig, man. Look at that. Right in his noggin. Had him pinned. Heck yeah. <laughs> Get some video of this baby swimming away. Freak yeah, dude. I should have weighed it. I don't know why I didn't weigh the damn thing, but that was a five pounder. 100% that was a five pounder. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Up here in the middle of nowhere. That's so freaking cool, man. I don't know, new technique to me that I've only caught a handful of fish on. That is so stinking cool. Let's go back there and see if there's more. Oh, corn.
extra stuff. I know it's not great for you, but Chick-fil-A sauce, unbeatable, unbeatable. Cheers to a uh, good morning session, y'all. It might be 11.30, but yes, I'm having a beer. We're gonna get regrouped, head to a new lake. Brandon, thoughts on lake number one? Not bad. I missed your big giant, but caught a couple little ones. Had fun. On a lake too. Lake number two. Brandon, do we have any idea if there's bass here? Negative. Not a damn clue. We gonna find out one way or another. I see uh, two jet skis, <laughs> which is not a good sign. It was nice five minutes ago. <laughs> and a pontoon boat, but <laughs> we're gonna make it work. Ooh, super, super clear. Which could be either good or bad. Guess we'll find out. I brought some different rods. We got a drop shot, jerk bait, wacky rig, hover shot, top water, and a spy bait. So we're going a little, a little wild child on them today. Cause we have no idea what's in here. We don't even know if there's a bass in this lake. So I'm hoping all of these fish <laughs> eat exactly like how that one just did. Cause they just scream down to it. Oh, rock bass. There's a lot of fish on this little thing. I bet if I throw a spy bait, I could catch some too. Whatever it is, that is so tiny. Oh my gosh. Might have the smallest bass I've ever caught in my entire life. Little taco. I'm gonna put the chop shot away for right now. They like the spy bait. Yeah. Uh, dude, there's like a million bass right here. <laughs> Eat it, you sucker. <laughs> Those actually turn out very dangerous. I should probably stop doing this if they're all this small. <laughs> I do not feel like messing with small mouth and treble hooks right now. Maybe we'll throw like a little swim bait or something like that.
broke me off. It got all wrapped up in my jerk bait and it jumped at my jerk bait. It was like a six pound smallmouth on a boulder out here. A freaking six pounder. That was a giant. It sounded like a giant. God dang, dude. That was a giant. It came up rocketing at me. And so my reel was like turning the handle was almost broken. Like it kept going backwards. And then it came up, jumped at me here. I'm soaked and came over there, jumped and then jumped into my jerkbait rod. And so that's why I think it popped off because I only have six pound test on. Wait, you see him? What do you mean? You, you see the fish? Could be. Could be, but that tells us there's giants in here. At least it was on GoPro. That freaking sucks. That hurts. That was a big one. That was over six pounds. No, I know. I, I'm good on that. I'm just like, I'm just sad. That's all. I hate breaking off fish. I'd be okay if I lost him. I hate breaking off fish. Because my hook was buried in him. Which is why I'm, my drag was so loose, which I'm surprised that that broke off. But yeah, dude, there's freaking boulders right out here. There's big ones, like real big ones. That thing, so it rose up off the boulder for the jerk bait, and I saw it, and I'm like, that's a big blob. And I pitched down on it, it fouls all the way down. I'm sad. I wish it just like came up and like spit it instead of broke, like broke it off. And after throwing in the rocks and stuff, I probably should have retied, but yeah, it's, I'm retying. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 fish tomorrow where we wanted to fish anyways fell through because of weather it just wouldn't be ideal where we wanted to go so we pulled an audible and we were gonna sleep in our trucks tonight part of us was like let's go sleep in a truck somewhere even though we need to charge some of our stuff you guys know that this whole content thing we can't do if our batteries aren't charged uh, we do have some battery that can get through with it but we also just will love a shower that sort of thing. We intended on getting a campground or a campsite, but unfortunately one, the campsite I scheduled a while back, canceled on me because of the flooding. Had some pretty bad rain here. But two, then the other one, there's just nothing else available. We decided we are going to, we bought an Airbnb for the night. We are about 15 minutes away. We're leaving this first lake, which a lot of fun, but we're gonna go sleep in the Airbnb, relax for tonight, get a shower in, go fish tomorrow morning um and then the rest of the day is honestly up in the air i know i said this was going to be a three-part series but there might be a decent chance that i go home tomorrow night because there's no point in uh staying out here spending money trying to get places when we can't do it to our fullest capability so we're gonna go crash the airbnb get some food i'll talk to you guys later well this kind of works out this kind of works out perfect, eh? This is great. AC. Little last minute decision. Let's go. <laughs> a little river, a little turtle coming up. We got dinner. <laughs> turtle, yeah. Turtle soup. Eventually he'll get to the surface. I mean, we got to get smallmouth in here, eh? I'm going to go grab the top water. I'm going to grab my Chick-fil-A sauce because I'm hungry. Yeah, I can eat later. <laughs> I'm definitely going to cast too. Let's get to it. guys 
we are back at the Airbnb. We cast around a little bit. Uh, I don't know if fish exist in this river. At least not where we're at. You see, we have our friend who's having a time of his life over here at the Airbnb. We made a new friend. Brandon is in the back getting some tackle rigged. Uh, tomorrow, the plan is to go hit one or two lakes. Uh, probably same, similar to today, hitting two different lakes. Uh, hopefully these ones have largemouth and the more predominantly largemouth grass fisheries, which I thought we were doing today. These lakes did not set up the way that I anticipated them to. Uh, caught a big largemouth, that was awesome. That, I should have weighed it, but I'd be confident saying that thing was five and a half pounds. That was, that was a big fish. Uh, and I'd probably say the same thing for the smallmouth that I lost too. That was a big bummer. Uh, I really should have checked my line after throwing at the rock pile there for a while. And so I really should have checked my line. Uh, that's just a stupid mistake on my part. Just being lazy and catching so many freaking dinks that it's like, I saw that decent mark on Mega Live, but I didn't think it was that big. I thought of maybe, hey, it's a bigger mark than average than I've been seeing. So it's like maybe a three pounder, three and a half. And I mean, you could tell my drag wasn't that bad. It was taking drag and then it just popped. You could tell that there was a, there was a nick in the line there. So I would have, like you guys know, I talk about it all the time. I would have rather lost it than broke off. I hate breaking off fish. I feel like a jerk. And again, that's not, that's on, that is on me for not checking my line. So it is what it is. But today was a lot of fun. Uh, you guys will see tomorrow in the next video coming out. So I appreciate you guys. Today was awesome. We had to call a little bit of an audible. Obviously, we're at the Airbnb where we anticipated being at a campsite tonight. So come along on this adventure. The adventure is not an adventure if it's planned. So an adventure is... You just got to do it and see where it takes you. Appreciate you all for following along. Please like, subscribe. Subscribe to Brandon's channel as well. Link is down below. Appreciate you all. We'll see you on the next one.